What's up guys, it's Andrew at Elite Gaming HQ and we're going to start our review of the Digital Storm PC. Now if you guys see my other review, which was CyberPower and iBuyPower, I did them uh, about a year ago, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. And since um, I had a couple people, well I had two friends, one had iBuyPower, one had CyberPower, I was able to look at their PCs build a little judgment off that but mainly what was out there was there was a ton of people who just bought the pcs and they were just running the mill guys and then they had problems and then they expressed it on youtube so you got to think if a lot of people are buying these pcs if there are also a lot of people on youtube that are using their pc for streaming gaming and stuff it's bound to be that some of those guys are just going to continue to make content and also express their experience well it was overwhelmingly negative but you can check out the review if you want. I have a problem with the Digital Storm review is I don't know anyone that has one. So, and there's not a lot of people online actually that I've seen that actually have done reviews of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy one ourselves and we're gonna buy it and we're gonna break it down and we're gonna do the review. We'll go to the website right now and purchase it. Now, I want to benchmark the PC, I want to break it down and look at its parts, I want to check its drivers, I want to see how much love they put into these PCs. I will say one thing, Digital Storm is really good at marketing. Every time I flip on my phone and I go through, I don't know, like, like it would be like a slick deal site or something like that, I see their ads. I see their ads on Facebook, they're everywhere, they're really pushing to sell their PCs. But is that just the trick to consumer? that's what we're going to find out now for added bonus what i'm going to do is if you guys know i also have a pc building site so i'm not a retailer like they are i don't mass produce pcs and i don't just sell them out what i do is i custom build for people but i also have custom builds like pre-made like parts lists on my site and people buy them and i get them to pc within seven days so i understand that digital storm's flagship model is 699 dollars so i'm also going to compare a pc that i have for 699 dollars and keep it straightforward i'm going to try 100 percent not to have a bias obviously you guys will be able to see all the footage we'll be able to compare the benchmarks and the breakdowns of exactly what i'm putting out versus what they're putting out but a lot of people like digital storm so I mean, I've had tons of people ask me about them on the CyberPower review. So I'm assuming that they're probably pretty good. And we'll see, maybe they're gonna be, you know, a good match, but I'm not sure. So let's go check out their website. All right, so we're gonna go for desktop and the Vanquish. So this is their best seller. This is the one I was talking about. This is the one I was here for. I don't, I'm not familiar with any of these. Everyone always asks about this one. Now, at, at first glance, this is an amazing PC. But what I have to tell you guys, what these PC sellers do a lot of times is they're going to put a really decked out PC on here, and they're going to you're not getting you're not getting this. Okay. Now, my guess is going to be it's okay. This is a Corsair crystal case, and they have their vinyl decal on it, which is pretty awesome. I need to get something like that because I don't ever do vinyl decals. Uh, a great looking case. I built tons of PCs in this case. They're all over my website, but they also have a HyperX cooler. And I'm not sure what the graphics card this is, a GTX graphics card. So let's take a look. Is this the one we're gonna buy? Uh, let's see, overview, reviews. Their website is laid out so amazing. I did not take the time <laughs> to do this or to hire someone to make a website like this. And I'm telling you, just having a nice website like this, okay, so they don't give any benchmarks, but they say games that it can run. Just having a website like this is gonna lead to a lot of sales. Okay, so they got a little video of them hooking up. Oh, it looks like a GTX 1080, okay. So let's see, there's the dimensions for the case, which you can look that up anywhere. Uh, showing off flash, more flash. Look, let's, we're, we're, let's get to the PC, where are we at here? It's more flash, okay, here we are. Um, good, better, best ultimate okay ultimate's two thousand um, dollars wow intel 8700 no k model um and a gtx 1060 1070 Whew. okay i'm trying not to pass judgment okay for 1700 dollars are we getting a 2070 okay but we're gonna we're gonna buy this one because this is the one we're gonna break down i'm not really gonna dish out two thousand dollars 
for one of their PCs. Okay, so everything looks good. NVIDIA Battlefield or Anthem. Okay, so they're offering free games if you get specific graphics cards. The 2080 Ti or the 2080 or the 2070, but guess what? Neither of these graphics cards are included with this. So let's see, we got the Vanquish Model 1. We got a 2400G, which is a solid processor. Uh, it's a four core eight thread processor, so it can do some multitasking. Um, let's see, ah, that's so bad. Okay, so first red flag I see, now this is just my gripe. Okay, so they have an A320 chip. That's a terrible chipset for this processor. There's no overclocking possibilities. It's just really cutting this processor at its knees. But let's keep going. Eight gigs of RAM. Okay. Hopefully that's dual channel and not just one stick. But it depends how uh, how many. I don't know. It's an A320 board, so it might only have two DIMMs. So it might not even be allowed for dual channel. But it's six hundred ninety nine dollars. It's not a lot of money. Uh, power supply. Let's see. Um, I'm curious to see what kind of power supply this is going to be. Uh, continuous output okay so we're gonna have to look at that in a breakdown storage okay 7200 rpm drive i wouldn't expect an ssd in a low price build like this uh you would have to pay a little bit more money mm, so graphics are vega graphics that's integrated it's okay but it's not we're not gonna we're gonna be all right with this i guess if you're gonna play games like fallout 4 and 30 fps maybe some Fortnite playing but we'll test it we'll see i've never actually tested the vega graphics so they're on board um cooling so it says extreme cooling but you're getting an amd factory heatsink that's not really extreme cooling and in fact it doesn't look like this and it certainly doesn't look like that hyper that we saw cable management they said is going to be on point this is nice so you're getting uh multi-change colors which is pretty cool so i see a lot of money going into this build in the case and the fans already. So standard fans, but I hope I hope you can change the colors of the fans and not just the light strip for like six, eight bucks. Uh, CPO boost, that does it's terrible. It's only gonna boost probably two cores. Uh, Windows, um, okay, so they're giving you, I'd give these out too. You basically put an ISO on a flash drive and you give their Windows um, CD key so somebody can reformat later. It's very useful when you have multiple drives. And that's about it. Um, oh, I also, when I originally wanted to make this video, I was checking out and I tried to see if they did uh, returns because maybe I could review it and send it back. Nope, they won't take a return. They will only take a return if you have faulty hardware. So if you get this PC and it's just not running anything that you wanted it to, then uh yeah your host you're stuck with it but let's add to cart whoa 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 estimated ship date 20 to 25 days oh my god wow so this pc is not going to be here for a month that's terrible um so i guess these are all the specs that we just looked at so the problem so for me if you buy a pc from my website i have a seven business day and unless something egregious happens, you're getting the computer shipped out at the seven business day, maybe a day or two before, but I give myself that kind of leeway because I got to order in parts. Like I said, I'm not a retailer. I don't have every single part sitting here. I'll buy power supplies and bulk and stuff like that to try to save money and then mail in rebates on stuff. And that's where I make, you know, what money I can make because I live in a state where I got to pay taxes. I got to pay PayPal and I got to pay to run my website. So. For me to make any kind of money, I have to take advantage of mail-in rebates and stuff like buying stuff when it's on sale in bulk and putting it on my credit card. And that's how I make money selling PCs. But we're going to go here. We're going to check out these guys, for example, they probably get ridiculous discounts. All right. Uh, it's not fully supported. but All right. So let's fill this out. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and there it is, $6.99. It's in my car and everything. Now, they're charging me um, $53.17 for shipping and handling. It's not so egregious. Um, the PCs on my side are $65, and that's double box with extra, extra packing. The good thing is they're not like CyberPower that tries to upsell you on, oh, are we going to pack it good or not? Premium packaging. Like, that's ridiculous, but... Um, 
you know, I, I'm curious to see what they actually do for the $53. For me, I do FedEx ground and I do 65 flat. Like I said, double box, so you get the PC in its box, it's turned flat, so the motherboard's sitting flat, the graphics card is suspended. If it's a heavier graphics card, like a TI model, I'll actually put foam inside of the case itself that you have to open the case and then pull it out. And then on top of it, when it's put in its 20 by 20 box, it'll have uh, plastic around the outsides. And then it says all over labels, um, this side up, fragile, uh, do not stack, all these things so that they just take care of it and they know because if it comes back, then we're gonna file a claim with FedEx to get our money back. And I've only had uh, shipped, I don't know, like since I started my website, probably 150 computers, and I've had one or two issues, one possible issue where a graphics card didn't work, and I gave the guy a new graphics card, but then one issue where it was definitely neglect on the shipping. So it's, it's less than 1%, it's not something that happens often. Anyway, here it is, and if you guys want, check out the ION, It'll be on the website. It'll be linked down below. You'll be able to check out all the PCs I have there. And we're going to compare these two PCs together. The only problem is we're going to be waiting for a little while. But when we do, I'm telling you, we're going to break everything down. It's probably going to be like a 40 minute video. But to be fair, we're going to give it a fair shake. We're going to test these guys out. We're going to benchmark them. We're going to check their quality and and already it looks like it's going to be a beautiful pc that's one thing it really has going for it beautiful pc and if it is a ryzen there is some upgradability there although i am really really against the a320 motherboard you really need a b350 or a b450 at least when you're using these chips and that that kind of disappoints me but here we go submit the order And here it is. Oh, it's almost going to be painful to press this. All right. Give me my PC, guys. Get it to me quick, please. Thank you. All right. I have my confirmation number. I'm good to go. All right. Well, that's it, guys. Um, if you like this kind of content, be sure to hit the sponsor button down below. You know, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on so you see the videos as they're coming out. Uh, I actually, I bought out of my overtime for basically the first seven months of the year because I used to have to work overtime all the time and made it hard to make videos. So this year I'm going to really tone it up and, and, and turn out some videos. I'm excited because this is what I love to do, not so much work overtime, which I'm a radiographer by trade. I do x-rays in the industrial field, but this is what I really love. So. Here I am doing this. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.